Right, and an, an important difference is in the mouth, the soft part of the mouth where you normally put the bit for a domestic horse, these guys have an extra tooth in that region. So if you try to put a bit in their mouth, uh, just bang on the wall facing the east and at the horizon waiting for the sun to come up. And as the sun moves across the sky, they tilt and they rotate to stay square on with the sun, intercept the most amount of radiation and hence make the most amount of electricity. Nice and safe. Eland's um, one of the larger of the antelopes. In fact, in some parts of Africa, they're kept in preference to um, uh, they're kept in preference to cattle. Largely because uh, they can be milked, and their milk. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, apparently, you can milk them, and their milk uh, will last several days in the hot African sun. We have giraffe in this exhibit as well. The giraffe are sort of strung up, up up the hill there. Now on the way back after you've uh, completed your tour, uh, back where uh, the bus you'll be in give you, should be, give you a much better view of the giraffe as you come down that road. Just passing the water hole here and we have one of our zebra. In fact quite an unusual zebra. You see this zebra has got pretty well white legs. Uh, remember the old um, thing, are they black with white stripes or white with black stripes? I reckon uh, that one there just about settles the argument. Uh, the big boys are up around the two and a half to three ton normally. Now this is quite a famous fellow because uh, about, what, two, three years ago? This was the one that um, made the newspapers when he uh, he went walking back for the day. He escaped, right? He walked his way out through the fence. He woke up one morning. He was all uh, all upset. He thought his girlfriend was in another fella. Oh goodness me! That's why you don't stand behind a rhino. <laughs> right. Isn't that a great picture. Now that is Bump Cheetah, and you can see. There they go. Isn't that a beautiful sight? So what have we got there? One, two, three, four, five. That's probably a sick one there. In fact, I think they're the five cubs. And mum is probably still back in the rocks. Yeah, these will be about 10 months old now. Okay, cheetahs, of course, uh, as I said, fastest of all the land animals, they get spit. Like most birds, it's the boys that have got to work hard and try and look as decorative as possible to uh, try and impress the girls. And on the other side, we have a uh, beautiful giraffe. But that's over very famous. So we have the boys in a different part of the zoo. This is a major breeding centre for giraffe in Australia. And most of the other zoos around Australia have giraffe from Manato. There we go. There's a couple of our girls. Very serene, very gentle. <laughs> There they go. Um, a little bit like zebra, uh, no two zebra are identical with their uh, with their coats. Same thing with uh, zebra. 
In fact, the official recognition of the zebra is the photograph of their shoulder, because the shoulder markings are different for every animal, in the same way that uh, fingerprints are all different. Uh, most of our other animals are identified by microchip, but uh, you can't anesthetize a giraffe, you know, because they're complex circulatory system, that if they were knocked unconscious, they probably wouldn't recover. So rather than try and uh, do a tricky procedure like that, what we do do is just um, use an ID of the shoulder. The hair, of course, which is quite normal, but what wasn't normal is mum then proceeded to sit on her. Right, and that's caused that displaced vertebrae. Uh, but um, doesn't seem to cause her any problem apart from the obvious uh, bump in her neck. In fact, she's had two. Uh Probably. Sentinel. The lookout. The lookout, yeah. And when they lie on their backs, some because of the heat and the sun. They've all oh, they've got three sentinels now. Oh, they're all popping up to have a look. Can't be tucker time again. Yeah, she said seven.